and I'm here with Susanna from the Disney Moms panel and she just was just kindly talking to us about the Disney annual pass and those great savings that you can now get with the monthly passes that Disney has come out brand new and she was just going to kind of give us some quick tidbits and just tips on how you can save and kind of enjoy the experience even with a large family. Yes, that's right. Well, one of the best things about having an annual pass is that you can come to the parks whenever you want. And we, I have three children as well, and we visit the parks for pretty much every birthday, every celebration you can think of, anniversaries. Um, we did my son's graduation from elementary school. We're like, let's go to Disney. So it's really, you know, a great way to amp up those celebrations. And now Disney has monthly payment plans for the annual passes. So for as little as, I think it's less than $16 a month, you can get the seasonal pass, so it's really affordable. It's like a few lattes at Starbucks a month, you know? Yeah. So it's a great way to have savings at Disney, and they also give you discounts with your annual pass uh, in the parks for shopping, and it's really a great deal. Oh, that's great. As a mom with three kids, um, you know what it's like to try to find a place where you can take all of them, where they can all be happy, and uh, you can enjoy yourselves together as a family. What would you say is just kind of like some of your favorite moments or anything that you would find be helpful for other large families to know about and kind of experience at Disney or any of the Disney parks? For large families, um, if you want to stay in the parks, they have the Disney Vacation Club properties. You can actually stay even if you're not a Disney Vacation Club member, and that's usually what we do with our family because we don't want to have to worry about having two rooms or anything like that. We have a two bedroom, and you have um, you know living room area, kitchen area, so you can make your own meals, save money that way. Um, and it's, they're really wonderful properties as well. And then you can head over to the parks and experience everything from, you know, your little kids. You can do Fantasyland rides up to the thrill rides with your older kids. It's really, um, there's magic everywhere you look around. That's wonderful. Is there any um, tips that you would have for families to come, a best time to come during the park or hours? Well, right now they're doing Florida resident discount rates um, on the hotel property. So you can save anywhere from 27 up to 42% um, on the different value, moderate, and deluxe resorts. So now is a great time. Anytime between now and um, right before the Thanksgiving holiday and then right before the Christmas holidays, there's almost no one in the park. So it's a great time to visit and you get to experience all the rides without worrying about waiting in line. And it's really wonderful. And during this time, can you still use your Fast Pass as well? You can, yes. Oh. Um, there's Fast Passes at certain rides and then you can, you know, Get your fast pass and come back at the time it says and experience the rest of the park while you're waiting for that time and then go in without much wait at all. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Susanna, for these great tips. It's going to be really great to pass on to the readers to kind of still enjoy their magical experience here with their families. Thank you so much. Thank you.